Hello, and welcome to Mario's Kitchen. Today we're going to make chicken cutlets. You need nice, thinly sliced cutlets. Simple to do. I know I say every recipe is simple. This is three eggs. This is a cup and a half of breadcrumbs. A little more than a quarter cup of, uh, a generous cup of cheese. I use the ready-made breadcrumbs. If you don't, then you need to season it a bit. And this is the pan. This pan, I will put oil on it. I don't fry my cutlets. And that's enough for the bottom. And then we start. You put in the cutlet, you dip it. Make sure you cover it. Let it drain a bit. Put it in the, the breadcrumb mixture. Cover it good. And I like to do this. I press it down. Turn it over and I press it down. And then I put it on the oil here. I take a slice. We're only going to make two. I've actually made a platter of chicken cutlets in advance. Let it drain a bit. Put it in here. Put it on the other side. Cover it up a little bit. And press it down. I hope that it adheres, the breadcrumb mixture adheres a little bit better. Now, in here, I want to show you, is a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon of granulated garlic, onion powder, quarter teaspoon, and some parsley flakes. Parsley flakes I put in there with my hands because most of the time, the ready-made breadcrumbs have the parsley flakes in them. Okay? Now, I'm going to put a little more oil on top, and this is going to cook in a 400 degree oven. I started for about a half hour in the beginning. And then I'll turn them over and I'll let them finish for about another 20 minutes or less. I want you to open the oven. You'll see they're brown. They have a nice brown color. When the chicken has that good brown color, you know they're ready to be made. Okay? I'm going to put this in the oven and then we're going to be back. All right, the cutlets are out. You see they get nice and brown. I don't fry them. For, believe me, the fried ones taste even better than this. These are delicious. You won't be sorry. Try it. And then you tweak the recipe to your liking. Okay, I hope you like these recipes. We're going to see you next time again.